Hi, I'm Blake with New Canoe. We're here with Wade from FishFinderMounts.com. We've done a little uh, rigging with some really cool fish finder mounts that they offer. And Wade's going to give us a little walkthrough and uh, just show us how they work and how they fit onto a Frontier Pursuit. Thank you, Blake. Yeah, so I'm Wade from FishFinderMounts.com, as Blake said here. And uh, we've just got our 5 amp hour magnetic boat mount kit, um, or sorry, kayak kit on here. And uh, the great key feature here we're talking about is a magnetic transducer mount where you do not need to drill holes in your kayak or your your whatever kind of boat it is so Blake has pulled out the internal magnet it's extraordinarily strong you can you can mount very large transducers this is quite a small transducer but you can do quite quite a large specimen and uh, the great thing too with this is you can actually move it anywhere you want on your kayak if you can you know the sky is really the limit and you can take this if you have a side imaging transducer and you want to put you know you know you need to get that underneath the bottom apex of your actual kayak you can actually bring that mount down we've got extension arms here you can see if the camera comes in close there Robbie please um, it's modular so we also uh, there's these extensions you can get to add to this if you want to make it even longer for yourself and uh, the great thing is, is it's just, this is only three inches by an inch and a half wide, not even an inch and a half, an inch and a quarter. So it's just so small and compact. And uh, if you want to just kick it out of the water so you don't want the noise, you're just paddling somewhere, wherever it may be, you can just take it out of the water for the time being. And when you're ready to fish and you want to be reading your graph and everything, you can just take it and lock it back down and in. And uh, there you go. You're, 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 you know, you're reading your fish finder and everything. That's awesome. Not having to drill holes and have it be super portable, yeah. modular. That's great. What's inside this little box here? Yeah, thanks for asking, Blake. This is a 5 amp hour AGM battery, uh, non-spillable, so it's good, safe in water environments. And, uh, you know, that will run a, up to a 5 inch fish finder for all day long. A good long day of fishing. And, you know, we've got this, um, we've rigged up the Lorads Elite 4. Um, and you can just see, you can just 360 degrees swivel here so you can put that wherever. Maybe you have a buddy that comes up front, you want to show him what's going on in your fish finder. <laughs> he doesn't have one, you can do that if you want. But this battery will run a fish finder like this. The, you know, the Lawrence now has the hook series. It would run it for like two or three good long days of fishing, probably three days there. So, you know, lots of power here for you, you know, cable management built right in here so all your cable ties you got slots here slots here we include the cable ties in the package so everything's neat tidy and you can see just if you put the stuff together which you can easily it's super portable not so heavy that it's it's cumbersome or anything like that so it's just uh of course with with blake's system here of, of tracks built right into his frontier boats and his pursuit boats you can take this and mount and move that wherever you so desire just as easy as that and then at the end of the day you just slide that right off the track and yeah we can do that off right your now. magnet yeah let's do that right now so we'll just show you guys here there's the magnet there as blake's taking that off we'll just slide this guy down the cables are kind of way but we can just whoop there you go and this is so 15 seconds 30 <laughs> seconds you got your all your electronics um packed up and ready to go take them to your car truck when you're off the water and mm -hmm. No effort at all. Yeah, so like Blake's saying, you know, the install and the uninstall is extraordinarily quick, easy, fast. You get your fish finder, you mount it on this, you'll probably never take it off once you've done that. And then when you're going out in your frontier, your your new canoe frontiers and pursuits, it's just amazingly quick. You can just focus on fishing and you know, you don't have to worry about all this stuff, so it's fabulous that way. And this can mount to the slide mount for the frontier pursuit as well. Kind of run into the slide mount, see if you have a slide mount. Uh, it works great with that. Or even mount up on the uh, on the slide drawer, on the track on the slide drawer, you know, either of those accessories as well. Mm -hmm. So there's loads of options for where to mount these, how to use them, uh, but it's super compact, um, just easy to use solution. Yeah, we should add here just a couple other things. Like this plate here, this we call it our swivel plate. It has, as you can see here, Robbie, and everybody there on Facebook here, um, you can see actually all the bolt patterns or hole patterns for all the different fish finders. You can put all the manufacturers, Raymarine Dragonflies, Lorance, you're not confined to any one manufacturer. You can, whatever you desire, you put it on to your Frontier, your, your Pursuit with this kit right here. And it's customizable too, because we just drilled out a quarter 20 hole to use That's a right. Mighty Bolt straight into the screwball for a super clean, simple 
installation that then you could just unscrew this if you want to mount it in the track or on a slide drawer or slide mount. That's right. So a very versatile little mounting plate there. Thank you, yeah. And uh, as we'll just show you the bottom of it here is Blake, you know, so you can see here this is aluminum. Everything's stainless steel. Everything's built for an aquatic environment. Nothing's going to rust or anything on you. You got the T-bolts here as you can see how all that works. And uh, so it's just, it's quite a convenient little system here and we'll just mount it up maybe so you guys can see how to install it on your new canoe once you get your fish finder on there we'll just slide this guy on like so and sorry Robbie I don't want to be in the way here just take this guy just make sure we got it down there we go you might want to tie the cables on this side. It's like you have a lot of different options. You could put it, turn the whole thing around and mount it in another spot if you want. It's up to you. Just slide it up there wherever you like and then twist it down and we'll reinstall this magnetic transducer mount, Blake, if you'd like to help sure. do that again. And uh, there we go. I'll just hold that there for you if you like. Boom, there she goes, she's on. So the other thing I wanted to say about the the, the uh, actual transducer, you, you might want to have it like when you're launching and beaching, you don't want to scrape this up or whatever, damage it. You might want to just tilt it up, lock it in so that when you get in the water, then you just twist this T-knob here, this thumb knob, let it drop down and then just crank it back in. And you know, you just make sure that everything's positioned so that you got a straight, nice, true trajectory down to the bottom of the body water that you're fishing. So, very cool stuff, guys. Awesome. Thanks, Wade. Thank you, Blake. It's been a pleasure.